Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brick, it's Brick it's right here. Um, so today um, I'm gonna make a video on the uh, Iron Man video, uh, Iron Man uh, figure. I will be making that video um, after this. Um, so I really want to talk about the figure that was announced last night, um, the Bad Batch uh, Hunter. Um, honestly, uh, this figure looks great uh, for the price, two fifty. Um, it's not a bad price. It's definitely is not a bad price. Uh, but um, the only, uh, well, I mean, the only issue I have with Hot Toys is when it comes to a line of figures or a team, they have a tendency to not complete it, if you know what I mean. I mean, for instance, let's talk about the Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. It, it took us two years, at least from my understanding, it took us two years to get Drax. And every, everybody was released or announced except for Drax. Now, you could say because they wanted to watch the market and see if there's numbers pulling, you know. Um, other than that, they will not release it or announce it. Another like, another prime example, like everybody that really wants this figure right now for their collection, for their team, is the Justice League Cyborg. Still no Cyborg. Um, you know, I have all the Justice League figures, and in fact, I actually have Batman right here. Um, see right there. Um, but, you know, it's... Um, it's, it's I guess, uh, put into pers perspectives, it's like driving a car without that one wheel. You have all the wheel, you have all three wheels except for that fourth wheel. It can be driven. It's just you know, it's not fun. You know, it's not drivable. You have to have the other wheel to really complete so you can drive. You know, nicely. You know, um, so it's like that. And and if we put it, you know, in any other perspectives, but um, like I have all the just league figures except for. Um, the cyborg and i've been waiting for that cyborg to be announced um but it seems like we're not gonna be we're not gonna be getting the cyborg and it seems like way back around march that was an april fool's joke um so yep sucks i was really hoping that it wasn't uh but it seems like it was um but that's fine um you know it's april fool's so you can't do anything about it uh -huh. so this this um the, a lot of people are, are kind of just patiently waiting because they don't want to be fooled again by these pre-orders. Maybe some people don't. You know, they're like, oh, okay, I gotta, even though if we don't get the other guys, we might as well get, might as well just get this figure because it's Bad Batch. Now, do I have faith in Hot Toys doing it? I would, I would think so, just because right now Star Wars is a huge thing. Although it's dying a little down a bit. I mean, the Bad Batch so far isn't the best thing right now that for Star Wars I mean the only episode we liked was the first episode and the latest episode that we got last week I love it because it had Rex spoiler it had Rex there and um it was it was pretty cool I really enjoyed it um I won't go into further details but all I can say is this Rex in there. And, and that really got me excited for Rex even more now the figure and I think the numbers will be boosting up once everybody sees Rex and I think that'll be the only time we'll be seeing Rex unfortunately um so yeah, uh, this is what it is, I guess. Um, but, um, yeah, Hunter, great figure. Um, it looks great. Tomorrow Morrison Head Sculpt, like I said, Tomorrow Morrison Head Sculpt, so far with Cody, has been amazing. And if they keep doing that, just use the same sculpt, just changing the hairs or changing, you know, scars or whatever, you know, just try, try to differentiate the other clones. Um, this is a, this is a good, this is a good figure. Um, I... I I've always said if there's one figure I can afford from the Bad Batch, it will be Hunter. For me personally, I think Hunter is my favorite out of all of them. I mean, you can also say the same thing with um, what's his name, um, the sniper guy. For, I completely forgot his name, but uh, there's Hunter, there's Echo, there's um, Wrecker, Tech, and I'm forgetting the other one, um, the, uh, the sniper guy, um, the sniper clone, the, the guy who shoots. You know, it's like a bullseye. Um, completely blanking out of his name, but anyways, those figures or those characters, in my opinion, so far in the show have been okay. I mean, some of the episodes we have seen so far are filler episodes. They don't really show any necessarily to, doesn't show any, um, uh, connections to the main plot. It's more of just missions, heists, you know, I, I, I just don't like those types of episodes, um, that are filler episodes. It's just things that just doesn't involve with the main thing that's going on um yeah so hunter if if i were like i said if i were to pick one from the bad batch it would be this guy and this guy is filled with details 
Um, I, I love the thing about I love the thing that I love about the Clone Wars and also the Bad Batch is that the way how the armor looks, you know, with the scratches and things, I feel as if the animation has more detail than the actual live action Star Wars movies. I don't know if that's me, but I feel like, you know, after seeing um, Rex, Echo, and even Hunter, and you can even say also Anakin and an Obi-Wan, but very minor, but I feel like the clones have much more detail in them, like, you know, battle damage, battle scars, and I think that's a great, great uh, thing when it comes to Clone Wars, and I absolutely love the clone troopers. Clone troopers, if I had to pick the clone troopers or the stormtroopers, it'll be clone troopers all the way. Um, so... Um, if I had the money, I would go buy every single clone trooper out there, but I just doesn't seem um, visible. But anyways, Hunter, great figure. Uh, Accessory-wise, I think it comes with two guns. Um, I think a backpack as well, like a jetpack. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And hands and some, and uh, obviously his helmet. And then I think some lights as well. Um, like, you know, with the Mandalorian where he has his little light on the side of his uh, helmet. Um... But yeah, Hunter looks great. Uh, I wish I can... I mean, I, I might collect all the Bad Batch figures. You never know um, if time changes, you know. Um, I think um, the Bad Batch will be such a... Will, will be a really cool line to collect. Um, I think Wrecker's an easy one. All they gotta do is just use the Heavy Mando's body. And that's it. That's literally what they have to do. Just, you know, use Heavy Mando's body. Um, and then there, there's your Wrecker. You know, um, new sculpt, obviously uh armor pieces um so there are so many easy things that they could have done i mean like you know they, they're reissuing things and i'll be talking about this in my iron man video after i'm up, done uploading this um yeah so great figure now as of a buy or pass thing if you're collecting star wars like just star wars alone this is a definite buy for you if you're collecting marvel dc and star wars you kind of want to think about it, you know, take some time to think about if you really need this figure, if it has an emotional connection to you. Um, for me personally, I don't have an emotional connection to it. However, for a cool factor, yeah, it looks cool. Um, so far in my collection, all my figures have an emotional connection, you know, even Heavy Mando, you know, John Favreau, who directed the Marvel movies and Marvel movies that were my childhood. So I kind of connect the dots from past histories, even if it's an actor or the character. So... For me personally, all my all my figures have an emotional connection to me and plays a huge part of my life. Um, so I, I that I just think of that, you know, when it comes to figures. This one, Hunter, yeah, you could say tomorrow more send Cody, there you go, there's the connection. So yes, it does have an emotional connection to me in some cases. But for me, you know, I'm collecting Marvel, Star Wars, and DC. I love all three franchises, but it doesn't mean I have to collect everything that they make, you know. I have to be very picky. Um, so, you know, right now currently I have 18 figures, which is pretty impressive for my age. Um, and, you know, I still have a couple of more pre-orders in. And then, yeah, um, that should do it for me unless they release something else, then I'll do it. But so far, if, if you are a huge Star Wars fan and if you collect only Star Wars primarily, this is a definite buy for even the Echo figure. I think it will be a buy for every single Bad Batch figure. Just saying. And, like I said, if you're collecting, if you're like me, where it's collecting Marvel, DC, and Star Wars... It's definite right now a pass, but over time you might change. So pass for people who are collecting three franchises if they can't afford um, everything from every from those franchises. Um, so it really, it really it really depends on your situation. So um, for me personally, I think I would say it's a buy for now. If I'm just collecting one figure from the Bad Batch, it will be this guy. So it'll be a buy, but I'm not gonna pre-order it. It's not something I need to go right now and pre-order. I, I'm gonna be it's gonna be one of those figures I'm gonna wait for the Hong Kong release then I'll be pre-ordering it properly but after that I mean but you know right now not, it's just not my main my main priority right now so um hope you guys enjoyed the video I know I rambled on a little bit of you know some you know team that Hot Toys doesn't make and things like that but you know there, there's some things that Hot Toys needs to improve on you know so far we're not getting any releases just pre-orders and it's annoying um, but you know, by the end of the day, I think we all still love hot toys. So there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys want to see from me more? Um, collection video is still, I'm still in the working, I'm still working on it. Still a work in progress, but one day it will be uploaded and you guys, you guys can see my updated collection. Um, but other than that, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want, like or dislike. 
doesn't matter to me. And yeah, just let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of my thoughts below on this figure and my opinions towards Hot Toys and their so far announcements releases. Uh, so make sure you guys keep on a lookout for that Iron Man video that, that we'll be uploading after this. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye-bye.